Hey what's up, it's Chris from the White Turner Transfer Support Group. In this video I want to help you with an easy way on how to change colors or even delete and isolate certain colors with designs you have purchased from Etsy. The program we are using is completely free to use and does work with every printing system. So even if you are not using White Turner, the steps in this video might be helpful for you. This video is specially targeted to users that have just started with graphic design and looking for an easy way to change a color to their liking. Of course you can do the things I am showing today in other programs like Photoshop, GIMP or iColor Pro Rip as well. This would work with files from other sources as well, but we have many users that specifically ask how to change something in a certain design they have purchased from Etsy. So I'm using a source they are familiar with. If we scroll through designs on Etsy, I am looking for a funny cat design here. We can see that almost every multicolor design is a PNG. Like this one over here is a PNG and the one over here is a PNG too. So let's work for PNG file for this video. Once we have found something we like, we go to this web page over here www.photopia.com. Photopia is a web based Photoshop alternative that is completely free to use. You can see some ads on the right hand side. This is how they keep the service running. On the bottom you can see an overview of the file types you can edit with the software. It's quite a lot. To start we click on new project, then we click print and choose our paper size. Let's go with 11 by 17 for our example today. Our background color should be transparent, 300 dpi resolution is fine. Once we've selected everything we click on create. Now we see this checked background over here. First thing we do when we work with white toner is to go to image, then mode and select CMYK. This way we make sure we work in the correct color space. Now let's drag our image in. I have decided for this Jurassic Park design over here. It contains four major colors, red, white, black and yellow, which allows me to show several examples. Next thing to do, which is just for our convenience, is to add a background color so we know how this would look on a black shirt or a white shirt. Here's how. On the top we click on layer, then new fill layer and we select black to simulate a black shirt. Now our entire canvas is black, but don't worry. We just take our image and drag the layer on top of our black color fill layer. We can change the background color very easily too. Double click on the black box and the color picker opens up. Here we can select a new background color to simulate another t-shirt color. Let's stay with black for now. If you click on the eye symbol next to it, you can make a layer invisible. We can see that our image contains black color. Wouldn't it make sense to remove the black color if we are printing on a black shirt? It's a very simple exercise, so let's do it. We first select the layer with our image on it on the right hand side. Then we click select and color range. This black and white screen pops up and we can click on the color in our image we want to delete. If we click on red, everything red in the image will be displayed as white. Now let's click on black. Now everything that is black is selected and displayed as white. We can fine tune with the fuzziness bar on top if not everything got selected. Now we need to right click on our layer and rasterize. We hit the backspace button on our keyboard and the black is gone. We can check this by making the background disappear with clicking on the eye symbol. To save this image and use it for printing, we disable the background and click on File, then Export As and then we select our preferred file type. More on that later. For now, let me show you how you can use the same technique to change colors. I want the red part to be light blue. To change colors, we also make sure our image is selected. Then we go again to Select and Color Range and we select our red color. We click OK. Now we want everything red to be light blue. Here's how we do it. We go to Layer, then New Fill Layer and select a light blue color that we like. These are the same steps as for the background, but will only be applied to the red part of the image that we have selected. Now we have a blue layer on top of our image. 
You know what? I want to change yellow to something else too. Let's do that quickly. Make sure your image is highlighted. Again, click on select, then color range and click on the yellow part of the image and OK. Now again, go to layer and new fill layer and we select purple. No, not really what I was looking for, but you can change that quickly. Double click on the purple box in our layer selection and choose something that suits better. How about that magenta tone? Let me know in the comments which colors you would have selected. Now we have learned how to remove a color and how to change a color. Let me now show you how you can isolate a color. First let me bring in the original image again. Let's move it all the way to the bottom. Let us assume that we want to print a single color image and only want the black part. Here's how we do it. Select your image, we go to select and color range again and select everything that is black. With the selection activated we press command or control J on the keyboard to create a new layer with everything that is selected. On the right hand side we can see a new layer. Let us hide the original image with clicking on the eye to see the new layer. Now we have isolated everything that was black in our image and have created a single color version of our artwork. If we want, we can also change this now to white. I guess you know the steps already. To see our white single color artwork a bit better, let's turn the black background back on. This technique can be useful if you want to turn black letters from sublimation designs to white letters to print them with your white toner printer onto dark shirts. We can use the combined techniques also to do double layer designs, which are super useful if we want to use specialty colors like Presto or hot stamping foil for a certain part of the design. In this example I have used blue metallic Presto from iColor and I just love the metallic effect. I have used the metallic color for everything that is red in my image and here's how I did it. First we need to isolate the red. Select, color range, select red, hit OK. You know the drill meanwhile. Command or Control J. Let's move the red part up. Let's select the main image again and delete red there. Select, color range, rasterize and backspace. Red is gone. Now let's look at both layers. We can change everything that is red to black for Presto if we want to here. You already know how. To save our design, we make those layers visible that we want to print on Presto. I quickly duplicated the design to use the entire sheet. Go to File, Export S, and I select TIFF to save with a transparent background and in ZMYK color mode. With the other color layer, we do the same and save it separately as we print this on a transparent sheet and not on Presto. Be merry as usual and press Presto onto the shirt first. We press our two step standard or select ultra bright on top. Clear sheets make the alignment super easy. And it's done! I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like and share it with others that could find it useful as well. Thank you for your time and see you next time.